Hey, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. Soul Brothers, Ooh. live and direct, baby. Um, hey boy, so many shoes coming out, guys. Whoa. And this is the LeBron 17. We'll do a little quick. Expensive shoes, man. Two hundo. What's up? Yeah, it's just this. It's just this LeBron 17 with some like cool font or something. Yeah. Let's take the shoes out. So here it is. Two hundred freaking dollars. They're raising. They're raising the price again, which is very unfortunate for uh, us consumers. But um, yeah, so this is a, a limited colorway. I believe they sold out. I couldn't get a pair because it's sold out. So I'll probably yeah. try to get the black and white colorway. But um, yeah, so this is the LeBron 17. And let's get it started off with the traction. Yeah, you have this kind of iridescent, translucent, mostly translucent outsole with this kind of cross-hatched pattern yeah. coming up and down the whole midsole. Um, and the, you know, the entire midsole is not touching the ground. You have some decoupling, um, if you will, you know, some articulation, so, so you got mm. some space. But the rubber's still connected. Yeah, so but yeah, it's still connected. What I mean is there's space. Yeah, there's yeah, quite yeah. a bit of space in the forefoot that's not actually been in contact with the ground. Because remember the KD9 or whatever? They had that issue where, you know, it would rip right here and then the zoom unit was like uh, kind of connected yeah. here, remember? Yeah. So um, that's good. The rubber's really thick there. So you shouldn't have that problem. Um, yeah, it bit pretty hard on the hardwood floors inside. It sounded good too. It sounded good. I suspect it's going to be good. You never know. Yeah. We will see. You know, dust is always an issue. You know, we'll take a look at that, but yeah, yes. you know, should be good. Hopefully mm -hmm. it's good. Also going on to, I guess, the, uh, the flex in the midsole and like how the outsole is curved and stuff. I guess, you know, I mean, this is, this is pretty edge, but it's a, it's an Air Max, which we'll get into. So there is a lot of compression, so it doesn't, it doesn't feel like, like clunky or anything in the heel, right? No. Okay. No. And of course there is a curve in the forefoot, mm -hmm. but I wonder, does it, oh, it has actually a good amount of flex. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Not too bad. Because if you look, like, let me get my LeBron 10 right now. All right, so he, this is full length zoom, right? <laughs> you yeah. can't try bending that shit. Yeah, in it's hard. You just, you can't. You That's can't. crazy. So um, I'm glad that they started doing this as far as articulation, like these zoom pods. That's why I like the zoom pods a little bit better. But um, it's good to have a little bit of flex. Yeah. I mean, exactly. it's also good to have some rigidity to give you some support in your midfoot and also mm -hmm. maybe even give you a little more bounce feel. Yeah. But um, so, yeah, this is not too bad. Heel to toe seems pretty good so far. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, let's get into that cushion. Uh, of course, they're using a full Air Max 270 unit. And I did do a dozen basketball. I played ball in this and I said it was too soft. Don't put it in your basketball shoes. And look what they did. Um, I didn't try these out yet, but uh, yeah. does, it, does the PSI feel any different or anything like it, that? It feels like it does feel less, right? It's not as um, extreme mm. as just a full-on 270 unit. You know, it is caged a little bit, so they kind of trap. You know, like I feel like the outsole comes up. There's a little less mm. space for the bubble. Oh yeah, look at that. You see? So yeah, I mean, the, the rubber does come up a little bit more, so yeah. I guess that does cage it a little bit. Um, but but you could good. still feel it. I mean, yeah. it definitely feels like Air Max in that it's, you know, it's soft. It's, it's um, what's the word? It, uh, unstable? Yeah, yeah, I mean, unstable is a word. I mean, but it, it's not bouncy, right? It, mm. it doesn't really feel like Zoom. Zoom kind of pushes back a little bit. This is just like impact protection, mm. right? Which also can make you feel a little bit slow. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, these are just first impressions, but on my first wear, that's kind of just what I noticed. Mm -hmm. um, and this is coming right from the, you know, the 16s. I was, you know, I was wearing the 16s all day just so, uh, in getting these, you know. So do you feel like two, three inches taller? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. You feel so high. How is that like offset though? Do you feel like a really, because in the, this, this shoe is just like, it's just really yeah. high, you know? Does it feel like um, flat or? You know, on first impressions, I couldn't tell too much. Mm. Um, but that's definitely something, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll feel out, but yeah, I didn't notice anything too crazy of an offset, you know. Of course, you do have the two zoom pods. They're, they went back to zoom pods, like in the LeBron 12s. And, uh, how does that feel? I, I, you know, I can't really notice them too much. Mm. You just feel a little high up, mm -hmm. you know, you, you don't really, the core feel is just not going to be there. I see. But I don't really feel crazy zoom either. Yeah, it's bottom loaded. It's yeah, it's bottom, bottom loaded. loaded, and you know, the, the when you whenever you get the surface area smaller like this, it's harder to feel the zoom. Yeah, they should have obviously just done an entire yeah, thing, right? totally. Just like this entire why, why disconnect it? Like just because I'm usually not a thing. fan of like this weird uh, shaping of the 
you know, toe area mm-hmm. on the outsole. Yeah. Because I kind of notice it while I'm stepping, and I don't even want to feel that. You know, I'd rather just have a nice smooth step. Yeah. So. So I guess this. I mean, the two seventy unit is a little bit better, better than the actual Air Max unit because, as you guys can see, the the actual plastic, you know, it starts right here. You know, for the actual Air Max, it starts a lot sooner. So it has it's it compresses a little less. Yeah. But um, I mean, what are your first impressions on the cut? Is it like too much or like? It's what not too much. It's just not really my cup of tea. Mm. Um, it's just kind of makes you feel kind of slow. I, I don't know. The vibe is like impact protection, mostly towards the edges, mm, right? Yeah. So in the very center of your foot. I mean, you get a little bit, but it's way more extreme towards the edges, which I don't understand. I'm not really a fan of that, and I don't. If, if anything, I want the opposite in a hoop shoe. Mm. I want you know firmness towards the edges to keep me stable and in the center right where my heel is that's where i want the compression especially like right here because that's yeah. if, if it compresses here you have you have a little bit more chance of like rolling you know yeah so anyways that's just first impressions cushion of course uh yeah. Donnie boy has to play in these and of course when i do get my pair i want to play in it but um that's just the first impressions there uh, moving on to the the materials the materials feel real premium very nice yeah super premium yeah. i mean crazy premium price so you know i'm definitely expecting that knit posit they're always coming up with some crazy new name <laughs> for lebron's tech but um you know it's just a knit and they overlaid it with some positive material yeah. um and it's an interesting texture this kind of posit on the it's mostly on the lateral side or on, on the back half of the shoe the toe is pretty soft mm-hmm. um and pretty much lacking any type of positive feel um, but positive if you don't know is pretty much just like a plastic right so yeah. they just kind of coat certain areas with plastic to add first little bit of support and probably durability that's so weird looking it, it does look weird it just looks like uh they didn't even you know weave it in they just put it there and just put some glue in yeah and, you know or pause it and uh so that's that and then, i mean yeah i mean it feels very thick and very plush to the yeah. end right does it feel like yeah it's thick cozy, cozy plush uh-huh. i mean it's comfortable you know um definitely feels a little uh, more plush and softer than the 16s. Yeah. So it feels like really not not very minimal. No, not, not super minimal. minimal, but it is cozy. I mean, I right? like I like how in the toe area it's like not fused, not glued. Yeah. Down. It's just straight you know, like material. You yeah. Know, the, the textile that feels super soft, yeah. but it does feel really thick. The actual tongue is kind of like attached. Yeah, it to is. The underlying material. Yeah. So. And then uh, this material is also like a synthetic leather underneath this yeah. and on the tongue, which is interesting. That sucks, it's not the flat tongue, but like uh, materials, what do you think? You like it? Um, it's chill. It's chill. Yeah, it's, I mean, they're nice, they're premium mm-hmm. for the money, which is great, but you know, a um, little, little puffy. I, don't, I mean, we'll see. Mm-hmm. I think it's going to be super warm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. Which is a bummer, and it's probably just adds to the weight, which we'll get into. You got this little pull tab thing here with a yeah. little hole in it. Yeah. So you can have this. It says remove before launch, and yeah, um, definitely remove that before you cut your Achilles. Yeah. Uh, it is. It's not super duper thick in the ankle area. I thought it was yeah. gonna be a little bit thicker, but it's not too puffy. It feels like, right? Yeah. Not sure. There probably is an internal TPU heel counter there is, yeah. in there as well as this external. But the external uh, TPU kind of caging heel is pretty low. I like this. But it is there. Yeah, the swoosh is dope. It's, it's metallic, like a yeah. metallic so uh, iridescent it. gold, super dope. Is it easy to slide the shoe on? Yeah, super is easy. Really easy. Yeah. Okay, that's good. And um, all right, moving on to support and lockdown. Do you do you feel anything as far as like uh, unstable? I mean, there is this outrig, a little bit of an outrig. Like if you look from the heel, you can see that it does pop out like this, what yeah. assuming it is, but does it feel like unstable or anything? Not off the bat, mm-hmm. Doesn't I can't really notice anything. It seems like it's gonna be okay. Um, however, you're not low to the ground at all. We'll yeah. see once we really you know, put them through the paces. As far as weight goes, dude, 25? Yeah. Almost 30, I don't know, dude. It doesn't yeah, feel crazy It doesn't though. feel crazy, it I thought it was feel gonna crazy. feel heavier. Yeah. Interesting. 21. 21. No, that's still heavy. That's still super heavy. <laughs> so, but, I mean, but like, not as heavy as we thought. Right? And it might even be lighter than the 16s. So. No, we'll have to see in the we'll comparison. I mean, just from my Air Max, ooh, 9.49. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I mean, the uh, as far as like the materials go, it feels pretty thick in the toe area, but it's not. It's kind of minimal in the ankle area. It doesn't have like crazy padding. Yeah. So, I mean, like. 
Does it feel light on foot or just um, yeah, probably not light, but like it, it feels lighter than I thought it was gonna feel. Okay. A lot lighter. So that's not saying much. But. That's not saying much, <laughs> but you know, it is a little the materials are not crazy bulky or anything. They're also not crazy minimal. And and it is cozy, you know, feels pretty good. I mm -hmm. mean, but it's definitely not a minimal shoe, but yeah, uh, we'll see. Um, but like if if the traction is good and all that, and then I guess the Air Max doesn't get too mushy or anything, I, I feel like it will be pretty good as yeah. far as response. Yeah. Um, all right, moving on to the Aestheticos. Mm. Mm, I don't know. I mean, this colorway is super dope. I really like this colorway. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the 17, guys. I don't know. What is, I I'm like not the, either. I like the swoosh, though. The swoosh like, is dope, and yeah. there's some elements that's dope about it, but overall, it's just kind of like, eh. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't think we talked about fit. Oh um, yeah, yeah, sorry. If for fit, you know, you could, you're gonna want to go down probably half a size. Yeah. And it's roomy. Oh shoot. That's okay, what it it's kind of roomy, more reminiscent to like some older Lebrons, like the Eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay, that kind of ran a little more roomy, but uh, definitely way more roomy than the Sixteen. Wow. So you could probably go down half a size, it's, and you know yeah. the, the 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 toe is pretty soft, so you can get somewhat close to the you know, the tip of the toe and not have an issue. So, and, and LeBron's have been running long for a little while. I see. Yeah, so that, that's unfortunate. Yeah. So uh, if I get these... Uh, Unless you're a wide footer, it's good for you. No, that's good, you know. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, LeBron 17, 200 freaking dollars. Yeah, I mean, obviously $200, that's a, a lot of money and we don't know if that's always worth it, you know what I'm saying? But if the performance is good, then that's good. Yeah. But uh, tell us your thoughts on the LeBron 17 and what do you guys think of this Air Max unit? Like, do you guys think it'll be good for basketball? Uh, performance review will be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next week. Later. Okay.